Hey everyone, quick update on the Freaker Stand Up to Cancer campaign. The original goal was 250 packs, and we smashed that goal in like the first three days, which is crazy, so thank you so much for that. But then the campaign ended. <laughs> New software glitches apparently. For some reason, hitting the goal ended the campaign instead of allowing additional orders beyond 100%. So the software team is looking into why that is and how to fix it. In the meantime, we just extended the goal to 500 so orders can continue continue to be placed but the goal is met so no matter how many more we sell between now and the end which is april 20th we are definitely going to production so if you're interested in contributing to the campaign and getting some g9 and fuck off cancer merch the link to the campaign is down below thank you so much again and enjoy the video Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lucky Looter. It is the morning of day 11. I've got a few skill points to spend here. I'm going to go into strength twice. We got to get that to level 5 so we can upgrade Skull Crusher and Sexual Tyrannosaurus again. Uh, with this third point though, I'm going to go into Sexual Tyrannosaurus now to help out with stamina. And the next time we level up, we'll go into Skull Crusher. Now you may have noticed I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I also have the mini bikes inventory loaded up. And that's pretty much everything I own. I left a few things behind, just some bullshit I don't need, because today is moving day. We are moving to the desert city. Because why not? It's a big city, the loot's going to be better, more interesting POIs. We'll be back to this town occasionally to see Joel, plus our horde base is in this town. And it's not that far away. Look, we're almost there already. And in terms of where we're going to live, I've got an idea in mind. Here we are. This is the chemical plant that we raided the other day. Remember when I, I fell and I broke my leg? I had a terrible time here, but I think it'll make a good little home. This building right here in particular because of all of these plastic barrels. Look how much storage there is in these things. And there's plenty of them. So that's what we need. Storage and security. I might have to knock that iron door out and replace it with blocks that we can upgrade. Definitely want to knock this shit out of here. Clean it up a little bit, you know? We're gonna need some forged iron to uh, repair the door, right? I believe that's what we need. Yeah. So we'll get some of that. Not a big deal. And we'll have a nice little secure home here with plenty of storage. Zombies fucking with my shit already. Give me some ammo. And my wood. And that's it. Nope. And some coin. Where's the coin? Here we go. Uh, one bad thing about moving is I already put down my land claim block. I thought about allowing myself to craft another one or allowing myself to craft a bedroll, but why should I break the rules, you know? I don't get to break the rules. That, that wouldn't be fair. Plus, it was my choice to move. We didn't have to. So now I gotta deal with the consequences, which is possible zombie respawns. It is what it is. Sounds like we got a zombie on the other side of that wall. Let me just grab some stuff that I want to sell and we'll get out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna take the sugar butts right now because I don't have that much to sell anyway. Let's see what we got here. Repair kit and motor tool parts. Morning, Mo. Out of the way, zombie. What's up, Joel? Ooh, I forgot to rob you. Five coin, really? You must keep your infinite stash somewhere else. That's smart. Here, buy this stuff. Uh, where did one shotgun shell come from? Oh, the shotgun I just sold. Wow. I'm, uh, real sharp this morning, aren't I? Okay, let's, uh, do, uh, this clear zombies. Thank you. Here we are. Let's check the mailbox. I'll sell that. Guess I parked on the wrong side of the house. That's okay. Let's fire this bad boy up. This house does not look familiar. Oh, here we go. Starting off in the basement. 
Hard to tell if it's a compo pack or if it's just, uh, you know, vanilla POI that I haven't explored yet. Definitely does not look familiar, though. It feels like a vanilla POI. I'll tell you that. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Woke up your friends. Oh, there's no door there. <laughs> Down she goes, but she wants more. Where are your friends? I, it sounded like more than one. Here comes someone. Just two of you? Well, that was easy. Motor tool parts and plastic parts. I'll sell both of those things. And let's take this workbench apart. Get some other parts we can sell, plus forged iron that we need to repair the doors in our home. Sounds like we attracted some zombies outside. Uh, we can sell the iron, too. What the hell? Yeah, it sounds like they're on the other side of this wall. If they're part of the POI, we're gonna have to find them eventually, because this is a clear zombies job. Shotgun shells. Armor part we can sell. Whoop! Damn it! <laughs> Look at me, fucking Captain Oblivious. Just walking into a room. It's like I forgot there were zombies in the house. I'll just take that food. We're not hungry right now. I guess I should be scrapping the iron products since we're holding on to iron to sell, right? I know I skipped some iron items before, but it's too late for those. I'm not backtracking. That's a rough way to wake up, you know? Why does it sound like there's a zombie downstairs? There was! And where the hell did you come from, Kenny? Are they breaking through the wall down here? No, no, I mean, they're beating on it still. Haven't made it through yet. Here. Fuck you. Make them work for it, you know? Yeah, let's do this one, too. It's a snake at the door. Oops, there goes Big Mama's graceful ass. Oop. Where did you come from, you sneaky bitch? Level 2 sledge and some shotgun parts. Sell both of those things. More iron. More iron. Got a plug. Eight bucks and a couple lockpicks. Nothing there. Wake up! Got a bird out here. Yeah, come on down. There's that skill point. Excuse me, buddy. Let's go ahead and spend that now. Going into Skull Crusher. I'm happy with that. Oh, there's a zombie on the other side of this door. I don't know if it's part of the job or not. I'm assuming it's not because it's not on the compass. So we're just going to go up. And wake up everyone in the attic. Ah, uh, he's dead. Oh, can't go around. Okay, going back down. In this little room. Not good. Okay. Out of my way. Uh, fuck off, lady. Later, bitch.
something you like. It must my be reward. Day. Uh, pipe yeah, bombs. Yo. If this was a triple storage pocket mod, I'd go for that, but it's not, so pipe bombs. Oh shit, look at this. Tier 3 complete. We got uh, 2200 Dukes. And what should we take here? Motorcycle parts bundle. I guess that's the way to go, only because the motorcycle parts, I think, will sell for the most. Because I'm really not interested in any of this other crap. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, let's just do that. Alright, hold on a second, Joel. You pop that open. What is this bullshit? I got a level 1 battery? And handlebars? I thought that was supposed to have, like, all the parts I needed. Where's the engine? Where are the tires? Oh, it gave me the tires. Because I had two, now I have four. It's kind of bullshit, though, Joel. You the man. Well, you're fucking right about that, Joel. To the northwest. That's where the new trader is, and we gotta go check it out. And I hope it's not another Joel. Because if it is, you guys are gonna think I'm cheating or some shit. I swear I did not set this up. Trader Hugh, in another large desert city not far from our own. This is a pretty big trader camp. A lot of stuff to loot in here, so... Let's do that, then we'll go see what Hugh has for sale. Fourteen pieces of cornmeal, okay. Well, I'm a glutton for punishment and a little hungry, so fucking nom 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 nom. Blort! Damn it. Should have brought my jailbreaker candy. Can't reach that? All right, Hugh. I'll rob you next time then. Well, you did, uh, Thousand well, XP. Okay. So Here, buy all this crap. Paid. Take that and that. It's yours for free. That's how much I like you. All right, what do you got? Anything good? I should buy his lockpicks and then rob him with them. Uh, 762, I'll take all that. Full stack of grenades. I should buy these as well, but let's see what else he has first. That desert vulture is tempting because we do have magnum ammo. Robotic drone? Nah, that thing's kind of annoying. I'm gonna take the blade trap. We'll add that to the base. Motorcycle, 24,000. We definitely have that because I got a full stack of coin back at home. All right, well, we have until day 13 to come back and buy that if we want to. I'm gonna take the rest of this 9mm. And that's it for now. I'll be back in, uh, maybe tomorrow. Let's mark him on the map. Ah, the smell of chemicals means we're home. Let's get this pallet out of the way. And then we gotta get this place marked on the map. So don't forget where it is. I almost did. Obviously, I was using the land claim block as a marker for our last house. And as I said earlier in this episode, we can't put down a land claim block here. There we go. Let's do the same to this door. And now we're nice and uh, somewhat secured in here. Give me some iron. There we go. Hey, who's fucking with my shit? Is it you? Stop fucking with my shit. It's official. I'll become the old man who yells at you for walking on his lawn. What do we got here? Stallion's den? Oh god, is that the answer to the bear's den? Tell me this place is full of dogs. Get out of here, little man. Mm. Dead. Oh, it's a gentleman's club. Oh, and full of dogs, I guess. Mm. Oh, shit. Dog's awake. Got him. There's another one. 
Watch out, Kenny. No, I gotta go. Let's just loop around here. Fuck you, dog. Oh, that was a bad move. Not good. The mini bike sucks for running over animals. Alright. He lost our scent. Got him. As long as you hit him with both shots from this thing, you're good. Well, stirred the pot yet again. I don't hear any dogs this time, so we should be all right. Damn, slow down, Skinny Pete. Guess it's easy to run fast when you're a grown man that weighs 60 pounds. You got a bird. Get out of here. I probably should just be using the sledgehammer, right? We got Skull Crusher up to level three. And it does work. The shotgun is fun, though. If you can hit your target. I'll just use that, I guess. That's outside, I think. Dropped him. Whoops. And double tapped by accident. There we go. Got a zombie behind the door. And this guy beating on the coffee machine for no reason. Oh, boy. Finish him off. There we go. Nah, there wasn't any coffee in there anyway. Beautiful. There's one at the back door here. That's big boy. He's breaking right through. And Skinny Pete. All right. Hold on. Skinny Pete is down, but not out. He's a tough little guy. Then again, I am shooting a shotgun, so only like one pellet hit him. Mm, fuck you. Take it easy, big boy. All right. We're fine. Doing good. I'll take that, whatever. A bottle of water. Some food, I'll eat the beef, and I'll wash that down with some nice yellow cornmeal. Mmm. Don't need that. Alright, let's go. We're on a bit of a time crunch here. I'd like to grab the main loot before it rolls over tonight. This place is crazy enough. That door's locked. Alright, we gotta find a way in there. Oh, here's a safe. Let's see if we can crack this thing. Eh, not much. Uh, we need to find keys, I'm sure. That's what will open this door. A lot of leather in this place. I don't have the time to harvest it all now. Maybe we'll come back for it, though. Ammo pile. Nice. Alright, let's head upstairs. Oh, shit. Is that just one dog? I hope that's one dog. Eh, you know what? Screw that. Got him. There's another one. Uh. Circle around again. Didn't even see me, dumbass. Look at him. He's all confused. Beautiful. I love it. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we should just use this thing. That's all we need. Fucking around with that shotgun. Now nah, you know what? Screw him. Let him keep looking for me. He'll start to think he's a failure. And he let me get away. You know? Let him fucking stew on that for a little bit. Craft AP rounds? Nah, we'll sell that. That door's locked. Oop. Man, I keep missing with this thing. Got some books over here. Just some paper. Chili dog book. Saw that. Scrap, take, take. 
Got another zombie behind this door right here. Boom! See you later, Skinny Pete. Oh, shit! Not good. That's not good. Get out of my way. Fuck. Trapped myself in here with the dog. He must have been, uh... In here. Sneaky bastard. Nope. I'll take the wood. I already have it. Yeah, we definitely need to come back here for all the leather. No, that woke everyone up. As long as I don't hear any growling, we're fine. Just some trash right there. Looking for keys. Something's got to open that door down below. It's about to be night. That's not good. Night time in the city? It's not fun. I like to be home by the time it rolls over to night so we can just... concentrate on not making too much noise. Oh, let's see if we can get in here. Shit. Uh, we should probably just leave and come back. But I'm not rushing so much. Take our time. Figure this place out, you know? Right, might as well rob them. There we go. Hmm. Alright, well, it's officially night. Any zombies left in here are gonna be runners now. Oh my god, we got... We got zombies coming in from the outside. This is not good. Where the hell is the key, damn it? Oh, boy. He's feral. Here come more. Spider monkey. Yeah. Screw this shit. I'm out of here. This is pretty much our neighbor. Our house is right here. So we can totally come back in the morning when it's more chill. Deal with that nonsense. All right. That was fun. Let's call it a day, though. Just shut our light off, get low, and be quiet. No one will even know we're here. Damn it. They're fucking with my shit. Stop fucking with my shit. That's right, I live here now. Things are gonna be different. I probably shouldn't be going loud right now. Get out of here! Alright, I think we're good. Nope. Damn it. Alright. I think we're good. God damn it! Alright. I think we're good. This time for real. Just gonna get inside. And not make any more noise. We're fine. Alright, look at all this loot, baby. I gotta go through this tonight. Got some more in here. And got plenty more storage. I feel, I feel good about this. I think it was a good move. Uh, and it's interesting, living in the city, you know? It adds a whole nother sense of uh, danger. Which I like, of course. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lucky Looter, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.